Sketchbook. 2023, June, July, Mar Mar March, April, May, June, July, I don't know, May, June, something like that. This is a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. Just so you know, it's tone tan paper. That means I get to mess around with lights and darks and cool ways. But anyway, let's just get into it. First page, uh, that character uh, uses a pencil as a weapon. Anything he draws can be used against you, so keep that in mind. He likes to draw butterflies because butterflies are the most lethal thing inside of my universe, which I'm working on right now. Butterflies are like uh, instant death, almost. So I draw butterflies a lot with other deadly things, like deadly combo. Oh, okay. Second page. Oh yeah, I was drawing a lot of fish. Uh, for some reason, I don't remember why I was doing that. I just kind of felt like drawing a bunch of fish. So there's going to be a lot of fish in the beginning. And a lot of props and stuff throughout the sketchbook. This is a Paul Bonner. Bon Paul, unfortunate last name, bon Boner? Bonner? <laughs> Paul Bonner, he, he does some really cool um, fantasy type paintings. So this is a study that and um i was uh, i actually like uh using colored pencil with copic now because i kind of got to use both on this study and i realized oh you can combine them and make some really cool uh effects with that so that's cool. oh yeah more fish because oh I bet you don't know where that's from odd world stranger's breath shout out uh these were more fish and then uh, there's going to be a lot of eyeballs and stuff. For some reason, I like to draw eyes just by themselves and in weird uh, scenarios. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> if you saw the first Hemi Jelly, oh, here, go, here goes the ISO going crazy. Uh, I did that one. I made a video out of it. I also made a video out of that, but I didn't really like that one. So that's unfortunate um also did a video of this one also hemi jelly jelly wash but i didn't post it uh so you never saw that and then more fish more props and stuff here's uh some character i forget what her name is uh, i totally don't like this character at all so i don't draw her ever and uh yeah forget forget that and then uh <laughs> Here's another page of weird random stuff. Playing around with Copics, I think I was just like trying to get used to them. More uh, really flat looking stuff. God, there's no there's no movement in any of these drawings. I like the colors, I just don't like the static nature of some of this stuff. Oh, another flat one. But yeah, I think I was just playing around with what I was gonna make the sketchbook about. It was like really stylizey. You can tell there's, there's no realistic stuff here. It's really stuff out of my like stylized uh, playbook. This is where I started to get a little bit looser. Kind of uh, wanted to make stuff that was more like for something, I think. I think this was like for part of my universe and some of the weapons and stuff more part of the universe I was trying to make it more part of that stuff but we'll see where that goes I don't know <laughs> here I was doing like uh, exploration of other people's designs so like here's Pac-Man 23 if you ever look into his work he did the sixth turtle I think that's he's got a boomerang weapon so he's like not one of the normal turtles like Jim Leeds inspired type Logan drawing. Um, this is like, I, there's a lot of Joe Verian, Joe Verian, more Joe Verian inspired type designs. More Pac Man 23. I forget what, I think this was just for fun. This is one of my own weird designs. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, I think this was Scott Campbell inspired type stuff. But yeah, I'm just playing around with hair and color on that. Face looks kind of funky. Uh, 
whenever I have nothing to draw, I usually draw like venom or carnage or something with teeth. So I was kind of, I got to a point where I was like, I don't know what to draw anymore. And then I just kind of just drew creature type things. And then I was like, oh, I want to draw a big gun. So yeah, that's kind of my thought process. Like nothing makes, like nothing goes together. Just kind of random stuff on every page. I don't know what happened with that saber tooth. I started it, it, like I was like really excited about that drawing and then it just didn't work. So I was like, whatever. I just kind of abandoned it halfway. It took up too much of the page too. And I was using a lot of blue mark Copic and I was like, I'm gonna run out of blue real fast. And I'm using that the most. A lot of these are Jim Murray studies, more um, really pushing stylized expressions and stuff. Hellboy, really weird graphic, but not graphic uh, stuff, stuff like that. Oh yeah, here I was uh, studying Nikolai Saviori, I think. I like his designs, he's pretty cool. Um, but I only like zoomed in on this skull face thing it doesn't I don't know it's hard to tell what's going on there but I was trying to get into environments from imagination here but it's like I'm gonna run out of Copics if I keep doing stuff like this because it like takes up a lot of space and I'm like I either draw them smaller or I don't know I just kind of stopped doing environments I was like oh, I'm gonna do another sketchbook for that uh, this is like my go-to stuff like skulls and demons and hellhounds Undead stuff. You gotta have an eyeball. More <laughs> these little, I like these guys. They're like little lemming guys that you wind them up and then you send them off to battle. I don't know, part of my universe, I guess. Uh, yeah, more, more weird junk. Eyeball. As you can see. Uh, oh, yeah, I like to draw at least one werewolf per sketchbook. So this is the one werewolf quota filled up in this sketchbook. There's uh, just a bunch of weird, I think, creature box inspired stuff, some Kenneth Rackafort inspired stuff, Joe Vereen again, type of design. And whoa, I forgot. It's, ISO gets crazy with this page. All right, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't wanna, I'll, I'll try to fix that in post. Uh, Playing around with gold leaf. I didn't finish this guy, so I was like, I'm just gonna gold leaf them to make them look styled that way. Then I was really like, I don't know why I'm doing that. It doesn't really work for a sketchbook, doing stuff like that. It was like an original type character design for my universe. Which I don't know what to call it yet, so I'm just gonna call it that. And then um, I was playing around with props and stuff. More of the usual stuff I like to draw. Uh, what else is new here? Nothing. Every oh yeah, that's an eye booger. If you didn't get what that was, he's got like oh, boogers coming out of his eye. But he's like a like this is what I think of when I see I when I hear eye booger. Oh, uh, I was studying some cheeks here and kind of playing around with the, like the stylization. I was like, what if it looked what, what would it look like if I colored it? And so that was just coloring cheeks design type stuff. I don't know what why I drew that. That guy is looking really weird. Um, like a hulky red demon dude, but I didn't really give him any clothes, so he's naked. Oh, uh, this is where I started running out of green, so I didn't finish his arm. See, I just ran out of colors at some point, so all my markers started fading and acting all weird like this. More cheeks design, proportion-y studies and stuff. I reference a lot of other artists, just so you know. I don't come up with all this stuff out of my head. Oh, here's a... Uh, like, I came up with that. This is a... Uh, I forget her name. She's cool. Uh, I think I came up with that. And then uh, I came up with this guy. I really don't. He's supposed to be like a radioactive blob type dude with a pencil coming out of his hand. He just, I don't know, it didn't make sense. More characters that don't really belong together, but I like the design language of them. 
Uh, da, da, da. And then I added a bunch of weird weapon stuff that... This is like what I normally come up with, stuff like that. Oh, here's a... Uh, oh, what's his name? I forget his name. He's like that Overwatch guy. Cowboy guy, but like... He changed his name for some reason. McCree. Met. Mac. Whatever his name is. I don't know. He, he, I drew like him like several times. I just, I don't even know much about him. Uh, da, 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 more cheeks inspired designs. This is like weird fish. Uh, a little eyeball here. That's just so random. It doesn't belong in this page. Oh, here's, uh, what was I doing here? Oh, some animation type uh, gesture studies. And uh, this is part of my universe, this character, I think. No, it's not. I forget what this was. I think it was a Rudy Siswano study that I kind of messed with. More uh, flowy animation type design here that I probably didn't even come up with. Oh, this is a hellhound that ate uh, or killed this guy and he, he became a spirit. No, he's on top of them. These are the, this is the high-end idea stuff that I come up with here. You can tell how much effort I put into it. Oh, here's the Inktober stuff. So what I do is I like to come up with the ideas first in the sketchbook. And then when Inktober rolls around, I like, oh, I can just come up. All right, I can just like fin finalize these things. So these are some of the... I wanted to have like glowy elements and all of the drawings and everything else be ink. So that's kind of what I was going for here and here. A lot of these pages are kind of playing with that idea. He's, that's supposed to be God, but he looks more like a homeless guy. I, I like her sword. She's got like a really big sword for such a small petite person. Yeah, more of the same stuff, like having a glowy element. Kind of, some stuff makes more sense than others. Here's what happens when I don't have any idea of what I'm going to be drawing. It's kind of just like you start off with like a weird shape and then you kind of keep going and you don't really plan out the drawing. So it's just really convoluted stuff that isn't thought out. And then I added these gold leaf designs for fun. Playing around with that. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He's got a bad skin condition. Um, you know, just playing around with the perspective, like looking down on a character rather than flat. And these wax guys were kind of the same thing, just kind of playing around with the looking down thing, except for that guy. Uh, more skulls, because you can never have enough of those. Uh, looking at style, like differences, and this is like more arcane -y. this is more spider verse -y. Oh god, I hate this guy. I just want to get rid of this page. Uh, oh yeah, I like the idea of a radioactive type character, but I don't know what he is yet. I'm going to develop him more. Uh, he has Wolverine claws because originally I was going to draw Wolverine. But he turned into just a radioactive man. I like that out though. Cool. This is a, a Mortal Kombat design character that I was thinking of. like. Kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> Gold, silver guy. Never really developed him any further than that. I figure he has like a Terminator type metal. So liquid, but he can like shape shift in certain parts of his body. He also has this big old hat. Not really thought well thought through. Just kind of wanted to do some reflective stuff there, I think. And I like sharp people. I didn't like this drawing very much, but. And I didn't want to even finish this drawing. I was having a tough time around here. This is where, this is the part in the sketchbook where you, your mind, you lose control of your creative process and you just like, anything goes. And so you start throwing weird stuff at the book and you're like, a little baby with the head orb thing. And you just, you kind of don't care anymore. You're just like, whatever goes. And yeah, it gets worse here. You can tell everything's discombobulated. 
what universe is this even? I don't know. It just keeps going like that for a while, I think. Oh yeah, there's uh, an idea for a mutated rat story I have, but I've never really been able to get it to the point where I'm like, I can make a graphic novel out of this yet. Uh, I like drawing big bat people too. Big bat people and shark people are awesome. <laughs> when the Bungie Marathon announcement trailer came out like a month ago, I missed it. And a month later, I, I saw it. I was like, what the hell? How did I miss that? So I was like drawing like marathon inspired type of stuff, but it's really not. It's kind of just, I like the aesthetic of the, that trailer was cool. So I was like, oh, I just want to draw stuff like that, but in my own way. And that's kind of what that page started off with. And then I, I just started drawing more helmets because helmets are cool. And then I, I get into this helmet thing where, oh wait, no, here I ran out of Copics. So that was a thing here. Uh, I just went with uh, Diamine Teal Ink with the Lamy pen. And I just kind of just went pen mode for a little bit. A lot of, a lot of helmets at, after this. I just kind of keep going. I think at this point I'm like, no more helmets. I need to do something different. So in the next page, I just keep doing more helmets, as you can see. And, uh, oh, what is it? I forget what this guy was. He was like a bounty hunter, cyborgish type of bot dude. It didn't really work out that well. Oh, what? I forgot this page existed. This was like an eyeball parasite thing. I was like, what's worse than just like a spider? You gotta have an eyeball and a parasite, and you it's like you just creep factor exponential like growth. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. Here, I was trying to say something. What I, uh, you know, sometimes you tried, but you fail. And that's what this page is it's just me failing at trying to say something. I forget what I was trying to even say, like uh, something about technology and people but you know playing around with shapes and more shape shape people just shapes that I like not really getting into the detail just kind of more silhouette type design here um, oh this design came from a guy named hypnothalamus who inspired a lot of stuff in this book actually I like his uh, approach to interesting ideas like, I really like this idea, but I wanted to see it full, like a full figure. So I kind of just extended his design out a little bit there. And I like the idea of a giant sword, small people. Yeah, stuff like that. I'm just playing around with that. So one thing I wanted to practice more, but, you know, I ran out of uh, pages was dynamic poses and really extreme angles and stuff like that's something I don't really do naturally I have to really work at that so I mean what else is is there to do but to practice you know so I, I dedicated one page of practice just kidding I did another two pages here. Oh, the same stuff I don't know why that hand is there though that just that's not you're not part of this go away and that's it pretty much uh this is the last page I made this giant spread for everybody, so usually I would put like subscribe here in bold letters, but I resist the urge. I was like, I'm not going to do that this time. It's not, you know, if people want to subscribe, that's cool, but don't, don't get all like, hey, you have to. Anyway, and that's the last page. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you in the next one. Hopefully I can bust out another one of these soon. Bye.